Hi everyone, welcome to Mauritius on a public holiday. <laughs> That's why we had Supi. We've driven to every single beach in the north and there is no parking. Well, at the moment, the police are in full force looking at masks, so check it out. But anyway, so we've just come down from Supiu and uh, we're heading for Grand Bay Beach. Yeah. And it's the only place we can find parking because everywhere we went today was just full. It is packed. Every beach, no parking. So part of the problem is a lot of places are closed, but the ones that are open, there's no parking. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. And it's busy, and we started this adventure at like 9.30 this morning. And it's 30 so, now. Yeah, and we were adventurous like, no, we'll just park at Super U. We made it to Grand Bay Beach. <laughs> Beautiful beach over there. It is a very short walk. It is, it is a very quick like walk. It took like three minutes. Yeah, Ricky's right. But then there's tons of food here, and we are starving. We we're going to eat at 9 o'clock. Guys, mincing fresh juice at the beach. Yes. The day looks like it's picking up. <laughs> it is, it's picking up. Hopefully we get to sit on one of those chairs. It's being poured in with ice. Oh wow, how beautiful is that? Thank you. There we go, look at that. Oh, thank you so much. Enjoy. What is it? Pineapple. Mm. Pineapple, passion fruit and apple. Pineapple, passion fruit and apple. Oh, we run over. <laughs> So we've decided to finally come to paradise and get ourselves a pad thai because they are famous for their... And some guy said it's the, the best coffee. he's had. Yeah, and some guy said it was the best he's had. So we're going to go find out, but we get to sit on the beach. Come and look at my view. Come and look at my view. I get to sit over here. <laughs> oh, my video man. How are you? You're good. Is this for my chair? Thank you. And this is where we get to sit. That video is with Roberto. This is Roberto. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes you have a difficult start to your day, but then it all gets better. So just remember, if there's no parking at the beach, just go park somewhere nearby and walk. Make your life easier. So these guys are right here. You get your fresh juice, and then a whole range of things from this food truck. It's amazing. And they've got the table and chairs set up right here so worth it it's also it's cheap it is cheap the pad thai is only 250 i know that's like a lot cheaper than other pad thais it is and it's got this and it's got this <laughs> It has been a little bit of a frustrating day driving around all those places. But it's this that makes it completely worthwhile. And the motorbike car. <laughs> yeah, it was actually it was actually quite comical. And we should have actually been filming it. <laughs> we really should have. Because we stopped past here, had this in mind, and it's like the parking lot's full. So we're like, no, no, we'll just head on to Perry Bear. No. Le Covet first. <laughs> Le Covet, yeah. <laughs> no one's open. Everything's closed. Head on to Perry Bear no parking and there's only one snack shop open wow where did we go next well then we went past Van Berth and thought well we're going to go to Grand Gorm and then we thought well let's just stop at the Vale yeah the Vale, vale has the best always snacks. got snacks no nope, all closed all closed <laughs> round past that then we went through uh, Pointe Cannoneers uh, Montreuxie Montreuxie had parking but none of the snack places were open yeah Trobiche no parking we no got parking stuck. got stuck stuck in a dead end <laughs> and then uh Popo, which is a secret beach. Yeah. Couldn't get Full into that. Full of cars, no and parking. We just thought, no, we're done. We could have driven. We could have driven to Blue Bay. We could have driven to now. Blue Bay. <laughs> so we're like, no, let's just go park at Sipi and walk down to the beach. And that's where we are now. And wow, as it turns out, <laughs> good choice. Wow. Here are some of the other Thai foods you can get from here and sit and eat them on the beach. And these are the prices of them. That's the one we're getting, the Pad Thai, the famous Pad Thai. And some others. I can't imagine why you wouldn't get the Pad Thai, but they have a lot of other things as well. So, if you're not into Thai food, they have the regular stuff and a, and a fish. Wow, look, here it is. This is the Pad Thai. It has finally arrived. Wow, it took, what, about five minutes? <laughs> Looks awesome. 
Pad Thai. I've just put Pad Thai at the bottom of the island, but for those who don't know where we are, we're up here in Grand Bay. Grand Bat. Grand Bat. <laughs> <laughs> beach Pad Thai. I don't know if we're focusing on it or the beautiful beach in the background. Wait. <laughs> Drizzle of vinegar. Lemon. lemon sorry. Lemon. Lime, actually. Drizzle of lime. Squeeze of fresh lime. Squeeze of fresh lime. <laughs> we'll get it right in the end, everyone. Don't you it's worry. It's a lime. <laughs> Classic. How's <laughs> <Nice idea. laughs> Pad Thai at the beach, everyone. Doesn't get better than this. Yeah, we go, Ricky Tang. Pad Thai. I'm just going to focus on the background just so you can see how awesome the sun is. Okay, now back to Ricky. It's actually a lot of Pad Thai because it's it's all in there with this sweet Thai sauce. Okay, so there's tons of Pad Thai in there. Yeah, because we took a long time photographing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, but we are starving. We are so hungry now after mm. all our driving. Is it a proper Pad Thai? Mm -hmm. Genuine. Oh, mouth-watering. Genuine Pad Thai. Yeah. you got to get that peanut on there. A little bit of the peanut on there. It has such a unique flavor of any of the other noodle dishes. It fully Thai dish. Look at that. Let's, wow, we can't focus when Ricky's so close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now let's turn on to my meal. Mm. I get... It's an empty space! No one's feeding me! No, we're sharing the Pad Thai. <laughs> but Ricky doesn't seem to remember that fact. <laughs> it really does look good. Mm. Awesome. I get to try some Pad Thai. I love Pad Thai because it's got that lime and peanut and something uniquely Pad Thai about it. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. It's great. I'm starving. <laughs> and the rice noodle. It yeah. is a great noodle. It is. Mm -hmm. Highly recommended. Something quite interesting is the chili on this is not a hot chili. It's more like a Thai sweet chili, but it's not sweet. It does have a little bit of spice to it, but mm -hmm. I think anyone who could eat on spicy food could eat this. Mm -hmm. It is not spicy at all. Mm -hmm. You do get some chili sauce with it if you want to add a bit of extra. Ricky's going to taste it, see if it's hot. I can it's hot. See, I can see how you look like Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's going to dribble a little bit on. That's fine. <laughs> I'll put a little bit more next to me. And there we are. Tiny oh, bit yeah. of chili. If you do like chili, you can add some extra. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> I am definitely putting this experience on the list. Exactly. Must, must do when in Mauritius experience. You have to. Come here. It doesn't matter what you order from the guys. Sit at this table. Enjoy that view. The food is fantastic. The food is really, really good. It's a great mm. pad thai. Perfectly made. And the view, best restaurant in Mauritius. Yep. <laughs> so pad thai is cool. It's got shrimp and chicken and peanuts and egg even on this one. Mm -hmm. What a great meal. Looks like Ricky strolled into my chili section. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little bit spicy there, Rick. Mm. Our meal finished, so we've been relegated to the coffee station. <laughs> mm. Still with the same great views, though. What I really appreciate about Paradise here at Grand Bay, I mean, Grand Bay is Paradise, but Paradise <laughs> Restaurant is, his prices are exactly the same as they were during lockdown. Good one. Yeah. No increase in price because of tourists. There you go. Paradise, right on the main road. There's a Brian. And the people at the new table. <laughs> well, the new people at the table. <laughs> right here. This pigeon has very carefully been walking up and down the beach until she finds the perfect stick. <laughs> Is it that one? Is it that one? <laughs> no? Not, no? No. Rejected. And then when it finds the perfect stick, off she flies with it. Bizarre. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. And this is the genius who made our pad thai. Thank you. He does get busy because he's very popular and super friendly. But I think he's open from about 10 o'clock until quite late. So make sure you get down here at some point and try one of the great things on offer. The snack foods look pretty good as well. Chicken satay. Yes, it really does look I good. I know, I never even noticed that before because they've got such a big menu. Uh -huh. No, we're going to have to come try them all. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, let's head back down the beach. We only got the one pad thai, but I could have eaten 10 of them, really. Actually, I couldn't. I'm full. <laughs> That's just from one. So it is, it is a nice big amount of food. You're going to be happy with it. Come hungry, eat it all. But yeah, you know, those guys, they, they're just, they're making something uh, with a view. And it's such a great experience. It's not just about the view though. Some places you go, they got this great view and then the food lets them down. Not here. Great view, great food. And great service. And great service. How was that? What, like five minutes and we were eating? Yeah. Oh. I've heard if you bring your own rum or something, you can add it to their cocktail. <laughs> yes, they'll make you a fruit cocktail. You saw us drinking that nice fruit cocktail. If we had a little bottle of rum, we could have added it to it. <laughs> but that's up to you guys, not us. Well, you can bring your own beers. Bring your own beers. Back to public holiday stuff. Uh, all the other beaches are packed, like we already told you. But look at this, Grand Bay. Plenty of space still. Plenty, plenty of space. So if you're looking for a nice place to get some great food, to relax where there are not too many people, Grand Bay Beach. That's where it is. I mean, they have tons of snacks and they're all open. They've got glass bottom boats. They've got ski ski boats. I saw a guy go for the ski boat. They have everything you need. So no public toilet. <laughs> oh, there's no public toilet. You have to go yes, to the sir. GBS center. Yeah. I wonder if that's open. <laughs> getting wave footage massive wave footage <laughs> <laughs> oh, the waves are huge here <laughs> oh Ricky's famous walk but she's not recording yeah, no, because it because they, they're too far apart for small feet all the big uh, fishing boats are still here but all the catamarans have gone out uh, we're just going to head through this area and see how it's opened up a bit in the last in the last few months. So this place has always been open. It's always not had a problem, but but the fishing guys they haven't been open, and here they are showing the catch. Oh, get you out of the sun, showing their catches for the last few days. 154 pound something. That's huge. Oh wow, Ricky's just said it was a blue marlin, 150 pound blue marlin. Wow. That's a big fish. Okay, so some of the shops are open. And like I said, it is a public holiday. So not expecting much, but there you go. And many of these shops for some reason have never been open. Yes. Genuinely, for some reason, there's just been that there the whole time with nothing in it. Really, you have to go eat at Paradise. Even if there's no parking, you can always come up here to Super U and the end bits here always have parking. Come and park here, eat at Paradise, don't stress. Mm -hmm. Well anyway everyone, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.